I just realised we're in a Hoffman Park that I hadn't turned my sound on, <laughs> which does help if you turn it on. So, yeah, I've just been saying uh, we've been feeding the squirrels and uh, seeing the crows, which uh, there's a lot of crows here in Hotham Park, which is run by the council. They look after it and there's a Hotham Park Heritage Trust, I believe, or something like that, that helps look after the park. So, so many rare trees and, and uh, we've seen different flowers and all the different trees and we've seen the squirrels which are very common here but the crows normally they only uh, go around in groups of two or three but here there's hundreds of them and that's a uh, murder of crows in Hotham Park but uh, we've been looking at all the different trees, bamboo, plants and flowers so we'll carry on the tour from here with me uh, comparing and uh, all the different types of trees and wildlife in Hotham Park today we're looking at so please enjoy well, there's a couple of ponds in the park here and a miniature railway which starts from here there's also a, a boating lake for little pontines to float out on so we'll carry on the tour so I think there's about nine acres of the park completely entirely so as I say you've got the boating lake with the little uh, pontoons to have a go on obviously it all helps to maintain the park and pay for it but uh, got some little uh, palm trees of some sort here now we've had some terrible weather here in Sussex floods and all sorts this last week and uh, well, we think it's uh, maybe the Gulf Stream's being cut off and colder water from the uh, course through uh, global warming's coming down into the Atlantic and cutting the Gulf Stream off and uh, causing some severe weather. So the, the seasons and patterns seem to have changed. You've got beautiful silver birch there. So many different varieties of trees that uh, I can't possibly name most of them. But it's a paradise for people that love shrubs and uh, enjoy a bit of countryside. I say I was a shepherd and grew up in the countryside. Looks like somebody's taken the sundial for a walk. But uh, yeah, this is the actual house, Hoffman House. It's uh, just been scaffolded, so they're doing some work to the tower. But yeah, I love the countryside. I was uh, born and raised up in the South Downs, on top of the South Downs, like a bit of horse race course. And, uh, Spent my whole childhood there playing out in the countryside. Become a shepherd. I loved shepherding up on the South Downs, looking after the sheep. It was beautiful, so I love a bit of countryside and uh, it's beautiful to come here to the park. Just, as I say, four minutes walk from where I live, so it's perfect. Right, we'll move on. Again, conservation wise, you know, you've got the young saplings here that have been planted over different generations even younger here so they're replanting quite a lot it's a shame they have to saw the odd tree down now and again because uh, obviously they age but uh, I should imagine there's some trees in here two or three hundred years old at least but uh, some are natural uh, British breeds which are species which have been here before the park was created and we're out around the back of the park now where the house is. This is where Lord Hotham built his house, I guess. Lived in residence here. The house is still lived in at the moment, as far as I know. But, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful park. We'll just walk down this direction. So quite natural looking uh, flower beds here that uh, just fit in nicely with the, the park really, nothing uh, too bright and colourful in too many places, it's just uh, natural vegetation, beautiful trees again. different 
sorts of shrubs here. That's very pretty indeed. More shrubs and trees. It's lovely for the public to come down here. Lovely open space. Beautiful tall trees. And we'll continue. So the small gauge uh, miniature railway line, it runs uh, right the way around the outside of the park all the way around the outside of the park so it's lovely for the children to have a little ride on and carry on up here little squirrel sat here let's see if we can find some food for him in a minute they've got very good noses but apparently very poor eyesight Keep throwing nuts at him, but <laughs> he doesn't seem to be able to find them. Yeah, he's found it now. Of course, uh, these little chaps, they eat the birds' eggs as well, but uh, my philosophy is feed them enough and they won't bother. <laughs> so we carry on. One of our fine feathered friends. Sounds as though the small gauge railway is coming through. So we'll get a shot of it coming through. So it goes right the way around the outside of the park, which is a couple of pounds well spent. I right, carry on. I don't know whether these are rhododendrons or not. I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> So you've got the miniature golf. You can play here in Hotham Park. There's also a children's play area. We'll take a quick shot of that in a minute. I'm just walking up the railway track and see where it leads. So again here you can see the, some young trees being planted. Sort of conservation again. Beautiful trees up in the middle here. Really lovely. And uh, oh dear, the 19th hole is missing. So there's a bit of an adventure playground behind here. Just for the kids to play in. And trains come in again. a beautiful tree
The different types of trees here are quite amazing. All the different species and varieties. Still got a big puddle of water out here in the middle from the storms we had the other day. There was a lot of very bad flooding in uh, Bognor Regis. A lot of people got truly flooded. I just thought I'd show you the crows again as we had no sound last time. So three crows, two or three crows normally uh, congregate together. Normally when there's more than three it's uh, when there's hundreds like there is here it's a murder of crows and uh, yeah they can truly be murderous. They're not the most friendly of creatures but uh, the way I see it they're God's creatures Live and let live. Don't know if we can find any more squirrels on our way out, but we'll have a look. And a few doves and a pigeon. Got a beautiful pond here. Lots of shrubs again. I think these are really beautiful. Uh, a few ducks here, mallards, but uh, this pond was actually uh, helped to be paid for by lottery money, so it's nice to see the wildlife encouraged to come here. It's just a few ducks here, there's not much else out here today. But, uh, this pond actually naturally does hold the water now. They've done quite a lot of work on it to uh, help it to retain its water. But it's lovely for the kids and the people to come here and feed the animals. It's normally a lot more ducks than this here. It looks like these are all the male ducks that didn't pair off. <laughs> There's no females here, they're all males by the looks of them, and uh, a ragtag bunch they look. <laughs> anyway, we'll carry on and have a look round. I think this is uh, Bognorige's version of Stonehenge. The solstice rocks. Yeah, beautiful, real piece of artwork. <laughs> so this again is around the edge of the pond and you know it's just natural and beautiful. I like to see uh, things growing in their natural state, you know weeds and all, it's, uh, it's the way it's meant to be. And some of the wild daisies here which no doubt they were planted, but uh, they're beautiful. True nature. And it's element. And again, you've got many beautiful trees out around here. And, uh, oh, there's the 19th hole, the watering hole. Oh, that's beautiful. 
Just a bit of a close up to see what it comes out like. We've got the buttercups and the daisies. Truly lovely. So, you've got some young silver birch been planted in here. I mean, this pond's been here a few years, but these uh, were fairly well grown when they were put in, I should think. Which, uh, I believe silver birch, uh, Peter told me, uh, is a single tap root. It doesn't have roots that spread out, it's just a direct root that goes down into the ground. But uh, he was showing me that you could uh, cut the silver birch and uh, drink the water from the root because it was flowing up through it. So it was beautiful. I saw a rabbit here the other day. We'll just walk around the corner here and see if he's still there. No, no sign of the rabbit anyway. Anyway, we'll carry on. Beautiful trees again. So it's very natural. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Hoffman Park. We we'll just watched the train come round for one last time. Should be coming any second now. So just having a look round the park. So this train runs all the way around the outside of the park. And off we go. I hope you enjoyed this tour around Hoffman Park. Just having a look at a bit of the conservation, all the different trees and wildlife that's here. Love and light, ship.